shows us the possible danger. Californians just can't seem to get a break. First devastating fires, then after a strong storm, destructive mudslides. Sierra Madre residents are now bracing for the worst. After the April 2008 Santa Anita fire, fires destroy the top layer of vegetation, leaving tons of sediment, boulders, and burned trees poised to become unstoppable rivers of mud after a big storm. To avoid catastrophe, county workers and homeowners are putting up sandbags and wooden deflectors to force debris floods away from homes and down canyon roads. Ron Potter has spent $1,000 to protect his home. They pretty much want us to do our portion, and um, they've already made recommendations, the county, of what we should do to help protect ourselves. Let me show you what can happen without all these mitigation efforts. A storm hit this area just one month after the April fire, resulting in a river of mud cascading down this narrow canyon and reaching a depth of two feet. The goal of what we're trying to implement out here is to protect uh, residents from mud flow uh, that we think will more than likely occur. If the county didn't build timber structures like these to hold back debris, the resulting mudslides would require 400 dump truck loads to cart away the mess. Sierra Madre homeowners are happy to do their share. The weakest link is what will cause the problem. And everybody around here, you, when it comes down to a problem, they do pitch in. In Sierra Madre, Manny Madrano, KTLA News.